Racing games can immerse you in the experience of being somewhere else, strapped into a dream car with no worries about speed limits. The true force tech in our G923 racing wheel lets you get deeper into that immersion than ever, and here are the games to use it in. Hello and welcome to the channel. We've been spending a lot of time in our sim racing rig lately, and not just because our F1 2021 hot laps have slipped down the rankings into obscurity again. No, a lot of it is down to True Force, a new higher fidelity force feedback system in the G923 wheel that brings you closer to the car than ever before. The list of compatible games is expanding, so let's run through the best ways to race using True Force. Before we do, thanks to all our new subs, and if you're not already subscribed, you can do that now. On with the show. You know when you're just absolutely burning around a track in a racing game, purple sector after purple sector while you're listening to a podcast and watching your favourite streamer on your second monitor? Yeah, Assetto Corsa Competizione is not one of those games. Instead, what we have here is what the kids are calling a sim, one that rewards pro racing driver-like inputs and understanding of brake and tyre temps. And with True Force support, you're able to really feel all of the details of these incredibly sophisticated Endurance Series cars. This gives you precise information like where the car's weight is, how much the rear tires are biting, and how much turn-in angle you've got at your current speed before the fronts give up and lose traction. It's the next level of force feedback, and it feels beautiful in a sim this deep and realistic. You could think of Automobilista 2 as a kind of alternate universe Project Cars 3. While the actual threequel to that series goes for an accessible style anyone can pick up and enjoy, this game takes the same madness engine that the first two Project Cars titles were developed on and doubles down on the simulation. That gives you a meaty driving model across a silly number of vehicles, including these super nippy carts and these racing lorries. Pro tip, combine the two in the same event for the most ridiculous race ever to take place. There's also a vast number of laser scanned tracks and a great weather system. And all of these variables can really sing that bit louder with true force compatibility. You can really feel the wet weather low grip levels that bit more keenly and grasp the extra weight of a truck versus a Naughty's F1 car. It's a sim racing sandbox with almost too many toys to cover here. And thanks to developer updates, it keeps getting better. <laughs> Not everything we do in our lives deserves pace notes like Dirt Rally 2's. Into two right long. Our lives are simply far too boring for that, but absolutely leathering a hatchback around the world's slippiest, snaking forest trails, well, that definitely isn't boring. The rallying here is so well simulated that it's pretty daunting at first. But it's worth sticking with it because Dirt Rally 2 is such a different discipline than your average track racer. Usually you'd slow down when you feel the back end sliding out, but here that just means you'll probably slide through the upcoming gate without too much damage. What would be a disastrous crash in something like Assetto Corsa, here is just a Thursday. Titan's cut to gravel. Ooh, sorry about that. You alive? Yeah, me too. Let's crack on. True Force also extends beyond the domain of PC gaming to the latest game in PlayStation's all-time best-selling franchise, Gran Turismo 7. Connect a G923 wheel to your PS5 and you'll feel the unique weight and detail of the game's famously fastidious handling model in a career mode you can absolutely lose yourself to. Buy and upgrade used cars and rarities, slap a spoiler on them, take them down to the cafe and hear from the designers who made them, take them to the car wash, and then let loose on the Autumn Ring Mini, Grand Valley Speedway, and all the other familiar favorites and real world circuits, and feel the intricacies of their handling. GT7 also brings all the super serious online racing over from GT Sport. So having a great wheel will definitely give you the advantage when the racing gets a bit, uh, tense. Truthfully, not everyone gets on with iRacing. 
It requires a level of commitment that not everyone's up for, and that's absolutely fine. It's important to remember that playing racing games isn't secretly a massive competition to be the best sim racer in the world. It's about having fun with cars. However, if you do want to get competitive about it, this is where you go. There's a great league system and a fierce esports scene here to get stuck into, and it's all built on fair professional racing, right from the earliest rookie races right up to the top. That makes it especially important to use a good quality force feedback wheel, and True Force gives you the extra edge to put you in tune with your car, whether it's a NASCAR, road racing, open wheeler, or dirt track model. There's no using the old, it's not what I expected on Steam refunds with this next entry, as the Monster Truck Championship puts you in a monster truck and lets you compete in a championship. What might surprise you though is how meaty of a sim this one is. Monster Truck games tend to be like WWE titles with a bigger carbon footprint, all fireworks and bombast without much depth to the physics underneath. But this one feels different. It's still got the backflips and the car crushing you'd hope for, but it all plays out with a level of realism that keeps you interested in the machines themselves. Their massive travel suspension forks, the insane pulling power, and the soft touch it takes to make them do what you want. You might have been watching along so far and thinking, Dirt Rally 2? I racing? Have these guys seen me drive a car in a video game? And to be honest, we feel that. We still regularly crash coming out of the pit lane in ACC because we forgot temperature is a thing. And as much as we love Dirt Rally 2, it tends to look more like Dirt Sightseer 2 when we play it. Sometimes, whether you're starting out with racing games or you're just not in the mood for a full-on simulation, you appreciate a game whose cars drive the way you want them to, not the way they should by the letter of Newtonian law. Welcome to the stage then, Project Cars 3, a simcade racer with spectacular events across many disciplines, tons of customization, VR support, and true force compatibility. You can turn off all the assists and it'll still kick about like an angry bronco but you can also dial it in for more help from the game that lets you focus on the fun and take a devil-may-care approach to racing. Either way, it feels great in your hands. In SnowRunner, you're competing against the environment, so forget lap times and checkpoints. If you manage to get to your destination at all in this game, you've done well. Using an insanely detailed terrain simulation that models how wet the ground is, how much your chunky all-terrain tires churn it up, and how much the weight of your vehicle sinks down into it, SnowRunner turns driving into a slow, methodical, and surprisingly thrilling adventure. Rescue vehicles, build bridges, deliver XXL cargo, all while competing against a savage environment that wants to topple or swallow your truck. Makes a change from chasing Jarno Opmir's ghosts on F1 anyway. And it's a chance to feel a different kind of vehicle through your wheel. A heavy, lumbering thing that can cross rivers and practically shake your hands off when it's idling. We're sticking with mud for this last entry, but losing a few tons of the vehicle weight. WRC 10, like Dirt Rally 2, takes you to some of the most epic rally courses in the world and gives you the freedom to let rip in god-tier off-road cars. The name might have tipped you off, but WRC 10 does indeed carry the official WRC license, which means you've got all 52 teams from all three WRC and Junior WRC categories to race in, and all the routes too, including four new rallies in Estonia, Croatia, Belgium and Spain. Also like Dirt Rally 2, it doesn't hold your hand through the hairpins and brow-drenching power slides on the very edges of mountains. Seriously, who's actually doing this stuff for real? And what sort of insurance policy do they have? Instead, it wants you to master the unique art of rally, dancing your car around just on the limit of control, constantly playing with traction loss and using it to flick yourself to and fro. And it's all the better with a good force feedback wheel that lets you really feel where your weight is. And those are just some of our favourite games compatible with True Force. Let us know in the comments which game you'll be battling into first. 
and let us know just how much you were shaking your head at our driving like a disapproving dad. Yeah, it's probably a few years before we get into pro racing. Make sure to like this video if you liked it, subscribe to Logitech G and hit the notification bell so you never miss another video.